So what's up? What's going on guys? Welcome to JA News. It's up. For today's show, we're talking the controversy surrounding Nike's problem that they tried to sweep under the rug, but it seems like sneakerheads have not forgot as they're starting to call out the major sportswear giant. Plus, have you guys heard of this Yeezy Fortnite collab? And we got an Adidas Fear of God unboxing as Jerry Lorenzo gives us a little preview of what to expect from the highly anticipated collab. So stay tuned guys, we got all that plus more and it's coming right up next. All right, so we're gonna kick things off with a little controversy as it looks like Nike thought this problem would just go away on itself over time, but it seems like the sneaker community is starting to call them out for their somewhat questionable decision making. So we're talking about controversial artist Tom Sachs, who earlier this year, there was an article published essentially accusing the Nike collaborator of running a toxic workplace using some questionable symbolism, which included taping a swastika to a first aid kit in their office, although Mr. Sachs is Jewish himself, as well as uh, wanting to use this quote, work like a slave, order like a king, create like a god, which would be a design element included uh, in the packaging of his uh, Nike sneakers. So as you can see, uh, Nike executives weren't too comfortable uh, with this decision and actually scrapped that idea completely. Now, of course, based off the allegations, Nike did respond saying, we're deeply concerned by the various serious allegations. We're in contact with Tom and his studio, seeking to better understand the situation and how these issues are being Address. So it seemed like things were kind of on pause for Mr. Sachs and Nike, but then it looked like we saw a back end release calendar leak, which showed some uh, future release dates planned for Tom Sachs and Nike collaborations. Once this information was discovered, Nike then went on to respond We are not working with Tom's studio at this time and have no release dates planned, leading many people to speculate that possibly Nike severed ties with the controversial artist. Until now, it looks like we have official images loaded of a new colorway for the Tom Sachs GPS and apparently 120,000 pairs ready to release to the public. So it seems like sneaker Twitter isn't feeling this too much and it looks like they're calling out the major sportswear giant stating no Nike had never had any intentions of severing ties with Saks. Looked like the plan was just to weather the storm and pick up where they left off. This person said, I think they checked the social temperature and he didn't cause enough of a boil. While this person spit some real facts stating that Travis's deal was paused, Kyrie let go, Ja deal unchanged, and this confirms Tom Sachs was just paused. It's kind of wild. So while I could agree with a lot of these things people are saying, I don't know if it's necessary to just kind of crucify Mr. Sachs for everything he's done. I mean, he did, of course, issue an apology, but I definitely think Nike should be a little more consistent on how they handle some of these controversial topics. It seems like for some people, they just kind of choose to drop them while some people get chance after chance. So let me know what you guys think about this issue. And do you feel like Nike is handling things fair and consistent between their many different collaborators? All right, and we talked about these joints last week, but we now have the official look from the Whitaker group themselves. So we're checking out here the upcoming New Balance 9060 Missing Pieces collection. And if you guys are familiar with the Whitaker group, the folks behind Social Status, I'm on Yer, as well as more. They love to attach some great storytelling to the releases. So this one reads, Missing Pieces speaks to the potential and promise of youth to be the change they want to see, standing up for a vision of society around them that will emerge from common action in the, all right, so this is cute and all that, but let's just go ahead and get straight to what the people are saying. And they're accusing the Whitaker group of possibly biting Joe Fresh Goods Inside Voices 9060 collection. So we're gonna go ahead and throw both of them up on the screen and I'm gonna go ahead and let the people decide. As you can see from the images here, both of these collections share a very similar pastel color palette. So let me know what you guys think. Regardless though, if they're biting them or not, I feel like this is a hot upcoming release for New Balance and I feel like they definitely have a hit on their hands with the 9060 as it's typically a sneaker that 
people that I feel like don't normally rock New Balance tend to gravitate more towards. So definitely a solid upcoming release from New Balance and be on the lookout for these releasing coming up September. 28th. And we got a Yay Fortnite collab, or should I say we could have had a Yay Fortnite collab as according to the details here it reads, Kanye Fortnite leaked info, the deal fell through because a meeting was scheduled with him but he didn't show up. Allegedly, the current season has some skins designed by Kanye, and part of that was gonna include this skin and the music playing in this video as like lobby music. So there's this somewhat kind of interesting history between Ye and the video game industry. There's even a story that back in the day he wanted to collaborate with Nintendo, but apparently they didn't take him serious. And as you guys know, one of Ye's friends and collaborators, Travis Scott, he's recently had a uh, very successful Fortnite collaboration. Now, the music that they're referring to here sounds like a uh, complete instrumental to a unfinished uh, Donda 2 record titled Happy. So it seems like maybe this could have been part of like the rollout for Donda 2, which seemed to have fallen through as I guess Ye kind of scrapped that project. And as you guys see here, he never showed up to the meeting. So on top of this collab, there was also an alleged Ye McDonald's collaboration, but it seems like all of these deals kind of fell through as it seems like nowadays, Ye is more anti-corporate. So Ye, Fortnite collab? You guys down? Let me know in the comment section below. And lastly, before we get up out of here, we got an Adidas Fear of God Athletics unboxing, or should I say double unboxing as Jerry Lorenzo's twins give us an upcoming look of what to expect from the highly anticipated collaboration. So as we get into the video here, besides the sneakers, I'm just stuck on the packaging here, which is extremely dope, but at the same time looks very premium and expensive, which leads me to uh, worry kind of about the retail price point here on this model, which I feel like is a great looking sneaker, but I'm kind of concerned that if these prices are too expensive, it may turn some people away. And of course, as we know, Fear of God is a luxury brand, which does come with premium prices, but I feel like with their essentials collection, it's so successful because coming in with a more affordable price point. It just kind of brings this experience to a bigger audience. And my expectations with Fear of God teaming up with Adidas that they would somehow meet us in the middle by delivering a great quality experience, but at a somewhat more affordable price. So I'm kind of nervous just based off these looks here that these joints might be very expensive. I mean, at least that's how it looks here from the uh, first look. So besides the packaging and everything, uh, the sneakers look dope. This appears to be the Fear of God Athletics Basketball One model, which I love. Um, one of my biggest favorite points of this sneaker is of course the minimal design, no branding here included. So you just let the sneaker design kind of just speak for itself. Of course, we've seen a couple different colorways. I'm a huge fan of the all black version, which I've seen leak, you know, here and there. So this is gonna be a cool release. Of course, as we know, Adidas has huge plans for this upcoming Fear of God Athletics release, which we are gonna see debut coming up this holiday season. And leading into 2024, we're gonna see a whole bunch of different models drop, a lot of footwear and clothing release. And and apparently we're gonna even see some NBA players um, who are in contract with Adidas, you know, rocking some of these pairs coming up for uh, the NBA season. So it's gonna be a big look for Adidas. We'll see how successful things are when Adidas Fear of God Athletics officially launches. I think one of the key points here is gonna be the price point. So specifically for this model, the Basketball One model, what do you guys think? Do you feel like this sneaker will be under 250 or above 250? Because as I said before, I feel like the price point will have a few huge determining factor on uh, how successful this upcoming collaboration is. So drop your feedback down below and let me know what you guys are thinking about this upcoming release from Jerry Lorenzo and Adidas. Also drop your feedback on all of the topics covered here today. And if you haven't done so, help me out by dropping a thumbs up here on today's video. So salute guys, we're gonna wrap things up. I'm JA, make sure you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out y'all, love.